day. We have a, a little bit of a challenge this morning. The band is going to be doing a sound check at the same time we're doing yoga. And we have a DJ, so lots of noise. And it's gonna test that, um, it's gonna test that wonderful concentration that we work on all the time. But we have some extra instructors walking through the audience and a few people demoing in the middle. We're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. And um, so that they're gonna be done at 11.30. So that you have our undivided attention for the entire time that you planned an hour, we're gonna go a little late. If you need to get up and leave, go right ahead, okay? If you have not been to Project Yoga Richmond or heard of us before, we're a local nonprofit. Um, our mission is to make yoga accessible to everybody, and we do that in two ways. We do that at our studio through donation-based yoga, so we invite you to come and check out our awesome classes, um, and they are at a pay-what-you-can rate, so we make them accessible financially. We also take those donations, and we, prov we provide yoga outreach in the greater Richmond community for underserved populations. So that means that when you come to the studio and you practice and make a donation, you're fueling to any one of our awesome ambassadors or instructors. If you're an instructor or an ambassador for PYR, can you raise your hand, please? We've got a few over here. We've got one up here. So please talk to them, and I'm here to answer any of your questions. I want to thank Mike Kometic, our awesome DJ, for DJing for us today. And with that, I'll turn it over to the talented Michelle, who's leading our practice today. Good morning. So it's really awesome to see all of you all today, and I'm so honored to be here leading this class, and it's so beautiful to see so many people out here. Um, So this is going to be a fun challenge for us, but we, we practice being centered and staying in the moment, right? So we'll just be mindful of that, and they'll be done at 11.30. So why don't we all come to a comfortable seat to start? Actually, no, let's stand up. <laughs> so come to the top of your mat, please. And we'll come to just a mountain pose here to begin with. So everyone close your eyes. And to start, I'd like you to lift all ten toes up off the mat, and then lower each toe down one toe at a time. So just finding your roots here, feeling nice and grounded on the earth beneath you. And then begin to just fire up the muscles in your legs, so engaging your thigh muscles, lifting your kneecaps up. Begin to tuck your tailbone. Draw your navel in and up towards your spine, so a strong core here. On your next inhale, take your shoulders, draw them up to your ears, and as you exhale, draw them down and along your spine. So your shoulders are drawing down. Your roots all the way up to the crown of your head. Begin to just come into your breath here. So breathing in and out through your nose. And just really begin to come into this moment. Breathing in the fresh air. So practicing, practicing outside is a whole new experience, right? Let's all take a deep inhale through our nose, filling all the way up. And then exhale, open up your mouth and let it go. Again, deep in here. We will seal our intentions with the sound of one ohm. So beginning with an inhale.
Baby pose, you're grabbing onto the soles of your feet, drawing your knees down and out to the sides. Wrapping around it on your lower back. And then just pull your knees in into your chest and begin to wrap forward backwards the length of your mat. We'll eventually come up onto our seats with stretching both legs straight out in front of you. And then flex your toes back towards your head. So sitting up nice and tall, draw your navel and then up towards your spine, crown of your head reaching up. So your toes are flexing back, fire up your legs, so your quads. And then as you inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. The fingers are pointing up, shining your energy up towards the sky here, nice and strong. We'll take it inhale, and as you exhale, hinge forward from your hips, to reach in for your feet or your ankles, or your shins, whatever you feel. Maybe bend in your knees if you need more space. And just fold yourself forward. Harry Wiles from Hollow Springs. Uh, they call me Blue. My dogs are all three labs. They are adopted. They've all been through therapy training. They go into hospitals for visits. 
Uh, they do all the events around the city. Uh, they dress up like this all the time. We just did uh, Susan and B. Uh, Coleman last week with the cancer thing. Uh, we did the races at RRR. We went to Washington, D.C. to the Dallas Redskin game. Uh, they are just really laid back dogs. They live inside the house all the time with me. They go out and do their thing, come back in. Uh, actually watch TV. Uh, they're not bad dogs at all. They're all adopted and I think they just give the love back, you know, what you share with them. Thank you. 